Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I am experimenting with another one of my new favorite workflows. It is called the Stable Video Infinite. Check out their website and repo for more info. Let's look at the workflow. Here is the model's download section, where you will find all required file links. This workflow is based on the WAN 2.1 i2v14b model. The FP8 version, VAE, text encoder, and LoRa's can be downloaded using these links here. The original workflow is from Kijai's repo. Next is the model's loader section. Block swap is set to 40, which minimizes VRAM usage for low resource PCs. Here, we load the LoRa that makes all this possible, the SVI Film LoRa. And here we load the WAN 2.1 Lite X2V Acceleration LoRa. Also, I have included another LoRa model loader for experimentation. I added PUSA to the workflow to test looks and feel. Here, we load our WAN model. FP8 seems to work well. Then we load the text encoder and the VAE as usual. Next is the loop function nodes. Please do not change any values, as it might change the outcome unexpectedly. Okay, I have preloaded an image I created earlier for this test. I will preview my first frame image before I run it to make sure it is what I want. Right click and select Q selected output nodes. I am just double checking the nodes. Here we input the prompt for our first part of the clip to be generated. Then we set the seed here. If you want to rerun the same workflow without any changes, you need to change the seed first. Set your appropriate video resolution here and the length here. Please be noted that this value should remain 5, unless you want to experiment with different numbers. Again, CFG is 1 as we use our LoRa acceleration and steps is 4. The first part of the video will be displayed here. No need to save it as all parts will be combined by the workflow later. Now, this is the prompt travel section. There are a total of four in addition to the first prompt, which will be our third, fourth, fifth, and sixth part of the whole video. Here, you need to change the value to match the numbers of prompt travels you have, or how many times to loop. I have it set to 3, as I only have 3 additional prompts I am using for this video. Then, finally, here is our prompt travel sampling loops. It is pretty much the same as the one above, but each loop generates a part of the video with the next prompt. And the generated videos will then previewed here without being saved. Then, here the final video will be combined, previewed and saved at this node. With the settings, when I ran this workflow, the total length of this seamless video is 309 frames. At the current settings, it should be roughly around 245 frames at 16 FPS, which equates to 15 seconds. Okay, let's run this workflow. Here, I attempt to test both fidelity and character consistency by using these prompts. After a long workflow run of about 11 minutes, here are the results.
Yeah, looks nice, but her neck must be broken. Anyways, I am experimenting with prompt adherence and character consistency, along with how seamless the video will look as a whole. The clip I generated earlier, shown at the beginning of the video, was somewhat promising because it actually did what I intended to do. Anyways, this is it for this video. I like how seamless the video looks without any additional editing. Although the video takes lots of time to generate, if you like this video please have subscribe and share it. See you soon.